All right, so this is an interesting video of a waiter in a restaurant kind of reacting to whatever circumstances she was put into. And there's also some commentary by the YouTuber that this is original clip gotten from. And let's just get into it real quick. There's some people who go to restaurants and they just literally want to give servers a difficult time. I got. Well, what he said, I don't know necessarily people go out and be like, okay, I'm going to try to make this server miserable today. But there is some truth to that. There's some people that wake up every morning and part of their day is to be shitty. They're just shitty people and they don't see how shitty they are. And there's also the people that are like, they go out to a restaurant or wherever they're paying and they feel that they that gives them the right to kind of treat anybody however way they feel like and it's just people that really just don't know how to be out in public in restaurants and maybe she got some of that feeling it looks like the person kept on calling her over for one little thing at a time and basically saying like why didn't you get me this but she never asked for this stuff again we a little bit out of context we're listening to the waiter's side right now but as someone that has been in the restaurants for a little bit, it happens. Let's just say that it happens a lot. And sometimes I've had regulars that just do it all the time. In my restaurant, we had some regulars that they were very difficult customers to the point that every time my service would see them, it was like, oh, like they just didn't want to deal with them because you can have a full restaurant and this family or part of the family or these people. What do you mean, you people? they would just demand way too much attention from them. So you had a full restaurant, but this group would take all the attention for the whole restaurant because that's how just, it was just, it would just be too much. They would do too much. And it was like that attitude of, well, I'm paying. I got, I could do whatever I want. Well, that's another story about people going out to these restaurants and just treating the staff not well, in a sense. They go out there, they pay, so they feel like I'm paying, I could do whatever I want. Uh, maybe not whatever I want, but they feel like they could do, they can get away with whatever because they're paying. And th it's definitely not right. And obviously, this gentleman right here, he knows this is not his first time. <laughs> this guy is just looking. Usually, if the waiter was out of line, and she is a little out of line, right? But apparently, the customer was way more out of line. This person would not allow, and I'm assuming the, the person is part of the, his family, maybe his mother, he would not allow the waiter to be kind of talking to his mother in that type of way if the mother didn't do anything. But obviously he feels that I'm gonna ignore this situation because this is not my first time. My mom does this shit all the time. So I'm just gonna make believe I'm in the corner and not say anything. Let's continue real quick. Family members like that, I got people I know personally who are like that, bro. And it, it's, it's, it's literally annoying, bro. Like them people are there to do a job you know, some servers, they, they deserve to be, you know, hey, man, like, you know, correct it. Like, like, bruh, like, you ain't bring my drink out. You ain't do this and that. Yeah. But you got some people that just want to make a server's shift difficult when they're there. When I go out, I understand that the person who has the most leverage, like when I go out to eat at a restaurant, the person who has the most leverage is the server, bro. I don't care if I... But the whole thing is like for you to think that I'm going to treat this person right because this person is going to, you know, sabotage my food. That's also not right either. You should just kind of want to be a good human being when you go out in public. You shouldn't have to have all these other things to kind of make you incentivize not to do the wrong thing. So I get it. This is a good way for people that can't control themselves. At least think of it that way. This person is handling your food. This person is talking to the back of the house. This person is going to be serving your food. So if you cannot control yourself, maybe get that through your mind. This person is controlling my food. Let me not be an asshole and uh, avoid maybe somebody putting something in my food. And I'm not saying that does, that happens. But, you know, there's always the stories that people do, right? 
I tell you it hasn't happened in my places or any of the places I worked at, but I hear it happens. So let's continue. I'm getting bad service or not, I might not give them a you know good financial tip. But what I will do is I'll be polite the whole time because they're the ones handling your food. The wisest thing when you're going out to a restaurant is to be kind to the server, even if they're wrong. Even if you have to correct them, politely correct them. They have the most leverage. They're taking your food back and bringing it out. That's all you really need to know. You, you uh, yeah, and that's a good way of looking at it. And I have no problem with that way of looking at it. If that's gonna be something that's gonna deter you from doing crazy stuff. I'm gonna give you a simple example. Uh, don't treat your wait, your wait staff, your restaurant staff like shit because you think you know what you're doing. So I had a little example at my place that I'm currently working at. The roast beef, it was a roast beef sandwich. The person had the roast beef sandwich. They felt the roast beef was a little too tough for them. We sell a ton of these sandwiches. So it, was, it really wasn't the, the, the roast beef. It was, you know, the gentleman didn't like it. And sometimes, look, the roast beef, it might have gotten cut a little bit slightly not against the grain and it might have had a couple pieces that were with the grain and might have been a little tough here and there was it necessarily uh that big of a deal that the person made a big scene no of course not but i tell you one of the things this, this this customer said which baffled me was when he was asked well would you like us to bring it back and just make you another sandwich and make sure you know and we'll make sure that the the, the, the slices are cut properly person was like i don't bring anything back to the kitchen i know what i used to own a restaurant i don't bring back i know what they do at the what they do in the kitchen meaning like what they, people are gonna put stuff in their food but you're saying you know it because you had a restaurant so you're saying you did this at your restaurant we don't do that in my restaurants first of all but that just gives me the type of person you are that if in your restaurant if somebody brought stuff back you were doing shit and so you don't do it to other you know go to you don't bring stuff to other restaurants because you own your own restaurants it was just like poof, mind blowing so you're just confessing to sabotaging food if somebody complained in your restaurant but now you're acting a fool at another restaurant leave a comment below let me know what you think subscribe if you haven't peace